Hello everyone and welcome to the Town of Light and the start of our spooky Halloween episodes. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll carry on with the scary videos all the way through October and maybe a little bit longer, just depends. You know, I've got a big stack of games here to get through. If we get them finished or not, we'll see. And if you like your scary games, you'll have to check out my friend Wayne's channel. His channel's My Name Is Wayne and he's doing a load of scary videos for Halloween as well. So yeah, go give him a like and subscribe. So let's... Uh, carry on well let's not even carry on let's get started the town of light let's go see what this game's all about the town of light is based on real events places and research concerning mental illness and the life of patients in lunatic asylums from the beginning of the 20th century until their closure oh dear it contains stories which may be disturbing the characters and names are fictitious and any reference to people living or dead is purely coincidental this game uses an artistic interpretation of a former Italian psychiatric institution for dramatic purposes. Please note that mental health services have radically improved around the world. If you think you may have psychological problems, please speak to a local doctor or specialist. Oh dear. Now that's a warning, isn't it? That is a warning at the start of a game. What's happened? What is this place? Maybe... Maybe I'm dead. I can't see any light. Maybe I am dead. I can't get up. What's going on? What's happening to me? There's no one here, but these noises... is killing me. I can't keep my eyes open. Oh, here we go. Wow. That was a roundabout. It's a bit abandoned round here, isn't it? Use A to open, close, use. Okay. What's in there? Have a look round here. Oh. Oh, secret. We've got a flashlight as well. Oh. Put the brightness up a bit, I think. Um. There we go. Oh. First food rationing improvement on April 20th. Okay. Interesting. Oh, what's in there? Well, nothing much. Who's a radio? Packet of cigarettes, bottles of wine. Okay. Can we run? Don't think we can. Oh. What happened? What is this place? Oh, we've just read that, haven't we? That's the, our first experience. Let's go up here. Can we go through here? Oh, we can. Oh. <gasps> the Town of Light. Okay, that's our first building. Should we go down here? Let's go down here. Hmm. 
Ooh. I was just trying to set up a VR game to do for the Halloween special, but I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't get it working for some reason. I've got it working before on my older games, but this time I just wouldn't have it. Oh, what's down here? Oh. Increasing number of cases. Oh, go fast down the stairs. Achievement. We're in the cellar. It's a tiny cellar. Okay, well that's the cellar. Let's go up here. Well, that's where we just were. Here we go. This place. Time. Memory. I think she remembers this place. Oh. Controller was vibrating like mad then. Oh. No money. Money. There's pictures here. Oh. I think they're real life pictures, aren't they? Oh, that looks spooky. That's the main doorway. Oh, hello. <laughs> Can't push doors open. Okay. Lots of stuff to read. What's that? Oh! What was that? Oh, is this a diary? I don't know how you read it. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh dear. We'll have a look at that later. Okay, this place is massive, isn't it? Lights don't work. What's in here? Nothing much in here. A letter? Oh. Okay. What's through here? Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a map. Ground floor. It's massive. Note. Okay. Right in the main the hall. Only thing I remember clearly is Charlotte, my doll. Charlotte. Oh, doors locked. Oh. Is that it. Power on. Nobody says we can't. Let's find Charlotte. Oh, find Charlotte. Okay. Charlotte, where are you? Come on. Whoa. Oh, it's slideshow. Oh. That's it, finished. That's a nice picture. Okay. Can't get out? Oh, there we go. We're out. Can't go through there. No, 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 she's freezing. She's alone. Let's look for her. Okay. Well, well, there's out there then. Oh, <gasps> toilets! Charlotte, are you in here? 
Nope. Okay. Oh, stairs. Oh. Oh. This is really eerie. <laughs> Where do I start? Oh! Mummy took good care of Charlotte. She tucked her in, hugged her, gave her cuddles and kisses. She was very affectionate and loving. Nothing bad happened to Charlotte, and that surprised me. I didn't understand. At first, I was quite scared. I was afraid that she wanted to hurt me. I lived in constant fear that Mom would abandon her. Because I didn't deserve to live. I didn't deserve to be loved. What? Everyone deserves to be loved. It's cold and it's dark. Look. She's cold. She'll get ill. We can take care of her. Nobody can stop us. Charlotte is a good girl. Okay. Oh, trying to get my torch. I lost my torch, I think. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, that's enough of that. Okay, come on then, Charlotte. We'll, uh. What's down here? I thought I put the power on. Can we turn these lights on now? Oh, there we go. That's better, isn't it, Charlotte? Whoa. Those lamps could make the room warmer. But Charlotte's not happy. She doesn't feel well. Doesn't feel well. We'll go outside in the sunshine then. Oh. It'll feel better then. Nice bit of sun. Charlotte is cold. Let's take her somewhere warm. Okay. The lift there. We can go in. <laughs> Does not work because the door is open. Oh. Oh, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, never mind. I can't get through now. There we go. Oh. It's already on the floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, silly me. Right. Oh, there's a wheelchair over there. Should we take her outside? Come on, Charlotte, it's warm out here. Beautiful day. Sure, it's warm in the sun, but it gets cold in the evening, and that's not good for Charlotte. Oh. That's not going to work, is it? Um, uh, the power's on. Is there a light switch? No. Okay. What is that? Oh! Charlotte will be comfy here. But it's cold. No, no, it's cold. Don't shiver, Charlotte. The cold will go away. It'll go away. Okay. Well, there's a light switch there. Oh. Okay, so shall we wheel her up to them lights? I think. No light switches anywhere. We must find some warm lights. Let's go to the surgical ward. Surgical ward, okay.
Don't worry, Charlotte, we'll warm you up. Here we go. Pop you in there. Here we go. Here she comes. Reverse, reverse. Beep, beep. Oh. Okay, let's go. In here? Is this okay? The cold has gone away now. You see? The light. The warmth. We can do it. The cold will go away. It has to. Of course it does. Now we can enter the ward where everything started. Oh, that doesn't sound good, does it? It all began in the observation ward on the ground floor. Observation ward on the ground floor. Well, there was a map somewhere, wasn't there? Oh, let's get these lights on. Oh. There we go. Oh, okay, right. Observation ward. Let's go. Oh, the map, right. Observation ward is number eight. Well, number eight, that's the hallway, isn't it? Oh, I see. Observation. Oh. Well, I can't look backwards. Oh. Oh, this is spooky. Getting faster. Oh no. Really? Oh, I've got no other way to go. Bungee jump, whee! Oh. Okay. Whoop. Oh, it's getting weird. It's getting really weird. Oh dear. Oh. What is going on? I was terrified of everything, even thinking. They said they were taking me to a place where the fear would go away, where I would get better. I stopped living in there. They dragged me away and stripped off all my clothes, everything. I tried to explain what was going on in my head. They tied me to the bed for days. I was alone with my nightmares. 
It wasn't fear anymore. It was madness. And when you're mad, you cease to exist. Whoa, this is pretty scary, isn't it? Oh dear. Oh, hello. You okay? She was my only hope in this hell. I was descending down, down among the damned. But that woman and her smile kept me alive. Oh dear. Oh, chapter three. The door is locked from the outside. Oh. Here the doors can only be locked and unlocked from the outside. Okay. <gasps> Who's there? Who was that? Well, this hallway is not scary at all. You can't get out of here. Only the dead can leave this place. What? Who was locked? Locked, locked. Locked. Oh, I've got my torch. That's good. Oh, hello. Oh, my word. We can move. Oh dear. Excuse me. Whoa. Where are you going? Oh, he's gone. Sound. Showers. What? He laughed, panted, and slobbered all over me. It hurt me when he touched me. I thought I'd suddenly split open with a loud crack, and I would be shattered into pieces. I felt fragile, sick, dirty, degraded. All I could do was clutch Charlotte tightly while he... Renee obeyed. He was the master in the realm of light. I was being consumed by the evil act I had committed. I threw up and could feel hell getting closer and closer. Those tests the doctors did to me. 
They said there was something growing inside, and they wanted to drag it out of me. What the... I can see why they've got a warning on this game now. Damn, I didn't realise the story was this. Like, quite disturbing, isn't it? It's not good. Not good at all. Um. Oh dear. Right. Um. Where do we go now? The sun's out. Can't get. Oh, someone's been shopping. The shopping trolley. This door's open. Oh, that's... we've just been in this room. This is where we came from. Oh, that door's open now. Oh, it's a letter. Oh. Oh, this is where... Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Right. Oh, they're all open now. So where do I need to go anywhere? Can I open all these? Oh, locked. Locked, locked, locked. There's nothing in there. What are these? Dressing gown. There's a letter. Okay. Oh. Oh. Got another one of them. Okay. Oh, lights can come on now. Nothing in here. No, nothing in here. Well, I don't know where to go. Do I just go back to the main entrance hall? Or, I don't know. Got two more rooms to check. She stayed with Renee during those terrible medical examinations, and that gave her the strength to survive. Oh dear. Oh dear me. Right. These lights are off now. There we go. Oh, I think I haven't turned these lights on yet, have I? <laughs> Where do I go now? This way? Locked. Locked, locked, locked. Let's go upstairs. How's Charlotte doing? Is she alright? You alright, Charlotte? You still there? Yeah, she's still there. Go this way. Locked. Everywhere's locked. Oh, wrong button. They went to the gynecology ward on the upper floor. Gynecology ward on the upper floor. Gynecology is number four. Where's number four? Oh, right next door. It's here. Gynecology. Oh, look at that. That's a piece of equipment right there, isn't it? Oh, oh dear. Oh. 
Okay, that's enough. Okay, what am I supposed to do in here? I don't know what to do. Oh, August something on there. First, nineteen thirty-eight. Confidential. Dear A, I know what you think about these things, so I'm referring a patient to you, Renee T. This wretched girl got out of control and caused trouble in the grounds. She's almost three months pregnant. The nurses should be more alert. I'm examining the girl on the twenty-eighth. I'll handle things very carefully. Don't worry. We don't want to make matters worse. Oh. Then they said that Renee was crazy and that the illness was all in her head. Careful, little girl. Careful. I was scared and I didn't talk to anyone about the illness. Only her. Not even the other doctor. He never yeah. touched Renee. He just wrote things down. You can tell me everything. Don't be afraid, he said. Everything's going to be fine. Do you want to know what I'm writing? I note down what I observe in you, everything I see. He didn't hate Renee. He tried to help her, but he rarely examined her in those small surgeries. Oh, dear. Chapter 5 The doctor who wrote things down was in Surgery C Surgery C? Was that? Surgery A? Surgery B? And oh Oh, where could it be? Oh, it's here! It's open Hey, the light's on Oh What's that? Oh, very fancy. March 12th, 1938. Renee T., 16 years old. Menstruation at age 12. Housewife. Father unknown. Mother a seamstress. Admitted an observation yesterday morning from Pontedera, accompanied by a police officer authorized by the examining magistrate of the Court of Pisa, to be admitted for a psychiatric evaluation, which I have carried out. Medical certificate. Mental illness preceded by warning signs. Has suffered from depression for a year, believing she had tuberculosis. Food deprivation. We can't read this document. It is forbidden. We mustn't. If they find out, there will be trouble. Oh. Uh, don't be scared. Nothing will happen to you. Um... It talks about Renee. It talks about you, so we have to read it. Yeah, don't be scared. Calm down. Oh. We have to look for Amara. We must hurry. We have to follow the memories and make sure they don't fade. Go on. She is frightened, hears noises and ghosts, presents serious signs of anxiety, psychosis, suffers from hallucinations. She is anxious, confused, her expression is distressed, a questioning look as if terrified, disoriented. She feels confused, hears voices shouting in her head. She doesn't understand things properly. She has been feeling unwell for two or three months. When questioned, she replies, My mother wants to hurt me. I am always scared of her. She chases me. Why are you here? I argued with my mother and was so upset that I felt like my head was spinning. There was a woman there who wanted to force me into a life of prostitution. They wanted to condemn me to be burned at the stake. The children whispered, called my name. March 16th. She couldn't sleep last night. They wanted to condemn her to be burned at the stake. April 4th. Transferred to the calm ward still under my supervision. 
Yes, that's true. The word where Amara was. Yes, the stake. The children wanted to burn Rene. She had to pay for what she'd done, like witches at the stake. Was this what frightened you? They were just hallucinations. What had you done to deserve to be punished? Um. That one. Oh. Not good, apparently. April 21st. She's more awake this morning and is responding to questions, complains of headaches. She became agitated when she found out her mother was there. She says that one day, many years earlier, she was with a friend of hers and met a man who made her get into a car and took her for a ride. He made her smoke cigarettes and drink liquor, and the man showed her certain things. He tried to hurt her and made her go crazy. She says he promised to marry her and made her swear to keep what had happened a secret. These facts were essentially confirmed by her mother. After that, she became arrogant, impatient, and hostile towards her family, especially her mother. She started taking off her clothes in public. Her moods would swing from laughter to tears. She rants. She pleasures herself. I can't remember these things. Only the guilt, the stake. I know I deserve to pay for that guilt. I know it even then. Let's look at the rest of the clinical diaries to understand. Everything will become clear. You deserve it because you're trying to hide it. What? Yeah, let's do that one. She was uncooperative during the examination. She didn't want to be stripped and her body remained rigid. Voluntary attention almost totally absent. Probable hallucinations. April 25th. Confused ideas. Unable to maintain a spontaneous conversation. Reflex is all normal. Reactive pupils. Let's find Amara, and we'll find the full medical records. Okay, this story is uh, it's a bit of a crazy one, isn't it? Quite disturbing. Uh, thank you very much for watching part one of The Town of Light, and we'll see you in part two and see what happens. Bye, toodaloo!